Hello guys, welcome back to the paper I suppose. Today I'll be teaching you something interesting and very weird, but interesting. So, question that you have three seconds to answer. What is what happens when you combine an origami ballerina and you combine an origami with an origami weightlifter? What do you get? Guys, you get an origami bufferina with a six-pack bu ballerina. So Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Let's get started. So to make this origami, you're gonna need a sheet of kami that's duo colored for the hair and the arms. So if you want the if you the col if you want the col the um person to be co the col the person to be colored, start co and the hair and um arm arm covers to be whatever they're called um to be white, then start color side up. If you don't, opposite. So let's get started. So, we're gonna start with folding in half. We're gonna make a 32 by 32 grid. Oh guys, um, at the end of this video, um, I want, once you guys finish the video, if you guys do, make sure to go check out my Origami Dragon Scales Tessellation tutorial. It's hit 500 views recently and I'm trying to get it to 750 or 1000 by the end of 2021. So, let's do this guys. I doubt it will make it, so maybe by January 2022. You, same thing, either way, you get the point, hopefully. If I don't know how to make a grid, feel free to check out one of my other tutorials where I make a grid and explain it well in one of my earlier videos, because if you've been watching my channel for some time, you should know how to make a grid, especially for making this model, because this is a pretty complicated model. Not that bad, but somewhat complicated. For beginners, that is. Oh, that reminds me. I'd recommend having a decent amount of experience to fold this model. You want? I want you to have at least a year of experience in box plating and maybe five years of experience in origami. That's really it. So it shouldn't be that bad if you have if you're like a master or something. <clears throat> okay, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold, you're gonna basically make a crease that goes from the corner and goes at a, a 45 degree angle, or it goes in the middle of this right angle, eight grid squares up, up and to the left. Marie knows if you see the easy, if you see an easy to see mark, like this one, you just hold to there, and make sure it lines up with the corner exactly. The better pre -pre the more accurate pre creases are, the better your model will look. Oh, in case you didn't watch my live stream, I have a Squid Game tutorial coming out soon with the girl from Red Light Green Light. She'll be hold she'll even be holding a sign that says um that says um red light or me green light i guess you'll have to see in the tutorial so make sure to check that out when it comes out stick around on this channel okay so next what you're gonna do is once you do it on both sides oops i totally forgot to turn the light on what what am i doing lol okay so now you're gonna fold you're gonna repeat on these two corners sorry no you're, yeah you're gonna repeat on these two corners too. So you, once you're on all four corners, sorry guys. Okay, so now what we're gonna do 
so we're gonna is by the way i meant to tell you this it's not that bad but you can try so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and count one two grid squares down sorry i got confused four grid squares down and you're gonna make a mountain fold and bring it down one grid square and repeat one sec over here <clears throat> and once more this makes the six pack why don't you can add one more make an eight pack but i'll make a tutorial for that another time he's gonna mess with our flow and what we're making so now we're gonna fold um we're gonna start folding the dress part the pre facing for the the um dress part so it's actually pretty simple so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold basically you're gonna go along this line so one away from sorry two, yeah this line one away from where the diagonal lines end so we're gonna make a crease right on the edge of that line going over here and over here it should look like that now we're gonna take these this point and fold two grid squares in a in a simple diagonal to the left two grid squares in each direction and you're gonna keep doing that all the way across kind of making this kind of accordion like pattern it's hard to explain if you've seen my other videos you know i call them diamond thingies so yeah You'll, you'd recognize them once you see how we use them in the video. In this tutorial, that is. One thing I forgot to announce in the video in the on the live stream um was that I ended up um was that I end actually ended up um I actually start decided to make an origami for a completely beginner's tutorial. Like my one how to do mountain folds, how to do valley folds, how pretty much how to do everything you want to learn in origami to get started. So I'll be making a tutorial on that soon too. So stick like I said, stick around to, with Paper Whisper to get more origami to practice. I don't know, I'm just saying random things now. Okay, when you're done, you make the same two folds you started with. So one here and one here connecting it like that. It's hard to explain, but I think you get the point, right? Hopefully. Okay, so now we're gonna bring back and we're actually still retreating. See, pretty simple. So now we're gonna start collapsing. So we're gonna fold a mountain fold on the first grid line on the side of the paper. and make that mountain fold all around. We're gonna keep doing that similarly until the diagonal lines end.
this is gonna be the second to last one. The second to last round. It's gonna look like this, basically. These will make the arms and legs. Now that we have this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start working on those accordion thingies or the diamond thingies. So, how we do that, you might be wondering. We're actually gonna fold it in half in the middle of these diamond thingies. And come out and fold it all the way around the diamond. The first one, like this, and fold it here. Basically, you can do that all the way across. If I'm going too fast, feel free to tell me, sorry, not tell me, don't tell me, but feel free to slow down the video or go back to try to figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way across. And once you finish, you finish before me, feel free to pause the video, or sorry, not pause the video, Ugh. fast forward to the part where I do the next step.
So once you do that, all you have to do is take the two on each. It's basically, you're going to figure out where the middle is, where this happy, sorry, the happy middle, whatever you want to call it, is. I found that mine is right over here. If you want a thicker ball, a thicker ballerina, I'd recommend, um, sorry, a thicker ballerina, I'd recommend staying like this. If you want a thinner one, do it like this. Then fold these on the inside. So similar to the weightlifter. And then we're gonna make a pleat sink. A half pleat sink, I should say. You're gonna pull this here and this here. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> LOL. Okay, so now you might notice that the legs are going in weird places. We can fix that pretty easily, actually. All you have to do is make sure that the um the diamonds stay together. Fold it back and fold the legs back down. So fold it back, this part back, and then spin the legs back down. Oops, that didn't look good. Got to fix that. Okay, so we have our base collapsed, which is pretty simple, cool, actually, in my opinion. I think bases always look pretty satisfying. So we're gonna fold you guys here. And now we're gonna start working on the head. So, first things first, we gotta figure out how to make the hair, which is actually pretty simple, actually, believe it or not. All you have to do is turn it is you have to um open this part up. Hold this inside. And then you make this crease, basically creating a color change. Simply, very simply, actually. If you didn't catch it, I'll show you again. So basically, obviously, we cannot let two lines turn into one once you open it up. Basically, you fold the part down, the one layer down, and then what we do is we fold this, as we go along the mountain fold. to explain i'll show it the best i can just like that and we're gonna fold it back together but there is an easier way to do it which i'll show you if you want to do it an easier way, which I prefer you do if this is your first time folding it, then you should probably create a pleat sink. Actually, I know there's a lot of box pleats in this. I mean, it's kind of the point of a grid model, right? Okay, so now, I'm oh, sorry, a model based off of a grid. Then, I'm gonna fold the arms back together, which didn't want to work. Really? That ain't good. Come on. Now we're gonna put this down and grab a clip to hold it down. The six pack will not want to stay together at first. So we'll lock that in a sec. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold you here and you here. 
and then fold the pink hair down. And feel free to shade the hair as much as you want. I just want to make it a bit more round, so that's all. So I prefer to do. Everyone's different, am I right? Okay, so now I'm going to fold this. So now we're going to pinch at the neck. I'm going to grab my other clip to hold that. And squish the face together. This is what it should look like right now. Now we're going to start shaping the arms. Now the arms are pretty interesting. So what we're going to do is we're actually, actually sorry, we're going to, what we're going to do we're gonna you know we're gonna keep it the way it is so basically you're gonna um basically it's pretty simple you just have to kind of round it out and we create the joints for making this fold pretty fun in my opinion And repeat on the other side. And then we're going to take off every single one of the clips. And what we're going to do, this is the fun part, you're not unwind every bit of the dress not every bit but as much as you can and then while you do that you're gonna squish every single crimp back together bring these back together bring this to the front bring the legs under shouldn't be that bad and then finally we have to and then we have two more things to do lock the 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 way the lock the um what's it called we're gonna lock the one sec we're gonna lock the six back which is actually pretty simple all you have to do is fold this back sorry you fold this back and a bit back down. Actually, it's the opposite now that I think about it. So you fold up and back down. So you fold a valley fold, then a mountain fold if you're going top to bottom. And one sec. And then finally, all we have to do, at least, it's not going to look from good from the back, so I just show someone the front if you're showing this off. And then all we have to do is make the legs. All we have to do is kind of shape it out again. And there it is, our pure origami bufferina. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, check out my um Dragon Skittle Stealth Sleeping tutorial video. We got we gotta get it to uh, 750 views at least by the end of 2021. Bye.